Hi and welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to be talking about a new function in the track editor in Velostrone 113 that allows you to import a overhead picture of anything really um, but I'm expecting people will probably use overhead pictures of their tracks for this particular function so it allows you to take an overhead picture of a track and import it into the track editor and then scale it to the right size and then having done that you can then lay out your gates on that template and knowing that they'll be exactly the right distance apart so it's a really cool way of getting a, a track into Velostrone really quickly providing you've got a picture from above and something to use as a reference for scale so the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need your picture from above and I've got one here called velostrone underscore overlay dot jpg now that's what you need to call it velostrone underscore overlay dot jpg and it has to go in your documents folder on the PC or on the Mac it would go in your home folder and same for Linux it goes in your home folder on, on Linux um, so you put your picture in the documents folder and you can see over here this is what the picture looks like this is a picture of a track that we ran uh, in the Neo FPV racing group uh, and I raced on this track but we took a Mavic picture of it from above so that's what we're going to use and I've already named it Vlostrone underscore overlay dot JPEG so that the sim can find it. And I'm just going to bring it up from the bottom here so you can get a bit of a oops, a bit of a closer look at it. So you can see here are the gates on that picture for the layout for the track. This was taken from quite high up. And I measured the distance here from this gate to this gate, and I think it was something like 20 meters or so I don't remember now but it was about 20 meters so I had a measurement on this picture that I knew the distance for and that's important you need to know the distance of something in the picture in order to be able to scale it okay so let's get this picture into the sim so if we go back here to tools you'll see this picture here which looks like an overhead picture of some scenery so you click that and then click on the map and that will bring in Velocidrone underscore overlay dot JPG into the scene from the documents folder. And if I just kind of if I scroll back here, you can see that that is basically that is the same picture that I had earlier. I'm just trying to move myself over, directly over the top of it here and then look down. So there we go, so you can kind of get the feel for that image. Now if you want to select that image, you hold down the Alt key and click on it, and then you can actually drag it around on your scenery and put it wherever it is you want to build your track. And then when you've got it positioned where you want it, you can just click away and it will unselect it. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to scale it. So you need to scale this up or scale it down, depending on which way it needs to go, so that what you see here is actually a scale picture inside of the sim. Now the way you do that is this overlay spacing field over here, which is by default set to 20 meters. And all you do is hold down Control and Alt and then click in two places for the measurement of 20 meters so I would click there and there and there we go that has scaled that down in this instance to make that distance 20 meters and then once you've done that you can then start placing these were align gates I think that were on here so let's find the align gates where are they here we go, so here's an align gate, so that would go there, and you can see that that align gate is kind of the, let's just select it and move it across a bit, you can see that it's around about the right size. Now, when you're sizing a 
image like this and I don't actually remember whether this was 20 meters or 25 now but the basics of it are that once you've got that on the map you can actually see that the orientation that I've got that at at the moment is not quite right so I can rotate it very slightly like that and that's now looking a bit better and then I can set to global coordinates uh, to, sorry to local coordinates to move it and yeah around about there looks like about the right place and then you place your other objects on on the map in the positions that they show that was shown from above and hey presto you've got your track laid out to scale and everything looks great uh, and actually this particular track uh, is in the sim as neo fpv wicker dive gate or something like that because we had this dive gate in it here that you can see here uh, and that was done using this map to lay out the gates so that it was done exactly to scale and i even followed the light you can just about see them here but there's the lines of the cones that go up here and then back through here down here and then down there down there down there and then weaves in and out of these flags then round there back to the dive gate and then back to there so I even put the cones that you can see here on the ground using a spline in exactly the same place as they were on the real track and it and it was fantastic it produced a really really accurate representation of the track with absolutely minimal effort really really easy so um, that's the new functionality that's how you use the overlay uh, and I said there's a few key things one the image must be called velocidrone underscore overlay dot jpeg and must be in your documents folder the other thing is that when you are selecting this background image you have to hold down the alt click alt key and then left click in order to select it and then when you're setting the size of it you hold down control and alt and just click two points that you know are this overlay spacing distance apart so you have to know a distance on your map that you're going to click that matches the distance that you set over here and then it will size the whole image to match that particular distance okay so that's it uh, I hope it all makes sense and I'll see you on the next video